on mat number two, the adult male. Will it be Tommy Langaker? Will it be Marcus Tanako? Tanako submitted Langaker in the first round of the Europeans earlier this year with the North South choke. Does that play in the mind of Langaker? Does it, does it play a role in the confidence of Tanako? Langaker penalized for pulling guard without a grip here. You must make a grip on your opponent before you pull guard. You cannot just sit to your butt in jiu-jitsu in a IBJJF rules match. Langaker shown his cards a little bit. Early. Oh, and a beautiful double leg takedown by Tanako. And that's exactly what I was getting ready to say. Langaker had showed his cards early by wanting to go to guard. By missing that grip, he gave away to Tanako. But Langaker almost on a triangle here, now going to a deep collar choke. He's on the face, though, of Tanako. It's more brutal than it is technical, and I'm not sure how close it is to actually submit in Tanako, and it's, it's not very close at all. But we've seen Langaker be dangerous already today, taking the back of Arjas, forcing him out of bounds, causing the disqualification. We've also seen Langaker in spectacular fashion, submit the likes of Herber Santos. Will lightning strike again today? Will he overtake Marcus Tinoco? Or does Marcus have his number? Marcus on top, Tommy on bottom. Tanako up 2 0, 8.43 left to go. Lanker working on a collar drag right now as Tanako controls his left leg. Will Tanako get a chance at redemption? Will he get another shot? at an IBJJF world title. Tanako initially signed up in the Masters division at Europeans earlier this year, later choosing to switch to adult, where he caught Tommy Lanker, and Tommy Lanker nearly on a triangle, switching to an arm lock, now to an omoplata. And this is why Lanker is so dangerous. He is a stressful guy to fight. And Tanako doing everything he can to keep Langaker off his back. This is exactly where Langaker was able to get Argus' back and sink in a choke earlier today. And an excellent job by Tanako to wind up back in close guard there. As I mentioned earlier today, Argus in an almost identical position was forced to give his back. And moments later, Langaker was able to sink in a choke. And off of that choke, Arjas inexplicably walked his way to the barrier and fell out of bounds and was a bit surprised that he was disqualified for that, but the rules clearly state you cannot go out of bounds while you're in a submission, and he was in a rear naked choke and walked all the way to the barrier, and then when he collapsed out of bounds, while I don't believe the collapse was intentional, certainly walking to the barrier uh, was... And for that reason, he was disqualified. And that's how Tommy found his way into this semifinal matchup. Marcus Tanako now looking to right the wrong from last year and secure his first world title at middleweight at black belt. Lanker now working on a De La Hiva guard. And he's been extremely effective from here so far today. Let's see how well Tanako can handle this guard of Langaker, which has been dynamite for him today. Tanako navigating those waters pretty well so far. Still with a 2-0 lead with six minutes left to go. Working into a half guard here. You have to watch a guy like Tommy Langaker all times because like I said, he is a stressful guy to fight because you never know what's coming next. What's he going to throw your way? Is it going to be a triangle? Is it going to be an arm lock? Is it a toehold? 
you never know what he's going to bring next. Now, the plus side of fighting someone like this is that often when they're taking these types of risks, when they're throwing this kind of the, the, this aggressive style of game against you, it'll also, it'll also create openings. And that's what happened. Or, and Lanker with another triangle here. Tanako Sok coming, gets himself out of it early. But this is exact, that's exactly what happened earlier this year at the Europeans. Tanako capitalized on an early Langer mistake. He was over aggressive. Tanako was able to catch him in a north south choke. It's what makes someone like Langer so much fun to watch, is because he's always so aggressive, throwing that kind of game at his opponents. And a, a go out on your shield type of performance is usually what you see. And here again, he's trying to rotate underneath behind, and he's almost there. He's there. He's behind Tanako now, looking to take the back here. Can he do it? Will he come up into a leg drag? Will he stay on the back? Tanako's in a lot of trouble here. Langer with his top hook. Can he set the other hook? Langer already on the collar. Both hooks are in. Langer takes the lead. Tommy Langaker is on fire today, taking the backs of both of last year's finalists, Arjez in the quarterfinals, now Tanako in the semifinals. Can he get the finish? Langaker taking a second here now to catch his breath. Often it can be a little bit more difficult to set the choke once You've given your opponent a, a chance to kind of set their grips, set their defense up. Often you will see guys that get caught in chokes, get caught in them in the transition. Although Langer seems to be getting a better and better grip here on the collar, Tanako seems to have gotten himself out of that grip, but Langer goes back to it here. Tanako nearly free. is gonna come off on this arm. Oh, uh, the choke is getting much deeper. And he gets the tap. Tommy Langaker. Another upset victory over Marcus Tanako. Tommy, Tommy Langaker is in the finals, ladies and gentlemen, of the middleweight division. Putting the world on notice. The Viking. Submitting his way to the finals. What an impressive performance, not only in this match, but so far today. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Lanker is a force to be reckoned with. We've watched this guy get better throughout the year. And he's in rare form today. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Lanker, submission victory over Marcus Tanako, moving on to the finals. We will see him in action later today. And he will face off against either Jamie Canudo or Zaki Bahaniz.